It is Friday, all you mentees, and this is the Uncanny Omar, and today I'm going to do an overview of the three Army of Darkness omnibus from Dynamite Comics, so please stay tuned. And welcome back, everybody. Now, before I get started, a big shout out to Vincent Faust for sending us copies of these books. So let's look at them all together. Let's, let's look at what the spines look like. You have... A picture of Ash on all of them. You have the volume numbers down here. This is Dynamite, of course. It's the same people that made the boys Omnis that are currently coming out. Or actually, no, all six of them are out. I've done videos on them. And here's what the backs look like. Each one of these retail for $29.99, by the way. So, let's take a look at volume one with this beautiful cover. I believe that's John Bolton. Yeah, John Bolton, the guy. But let's talk about it. So here is volume one, the one that kicks it off. All of this takes place after the movie, by the way, all three of these volumes. So here's the table of contents, what it contains, and we'll talk a little bit about uh, what the contents are here in a second. The original screenplay, by the way, of course, written by Sam Raimi and Ivan Raimi, his brother, and adapted by John Bolton. That's what the Army of Darkness movie adaptation is. It's all these little stories in here, and let's kick it off with this movie adaptation by the phenomenal John Bolton, the guy that did the Man Bat series. He did a lot of work with Chris Claremont, but probably my favorite, and maybe most of you all that grew up in the 80s are familiar with his work in the classic X-Men line. He did the backup stories. But now he has a very painted style. This is the same style that he used in Man Bat. He has a very gorgeous art style. And he's the one that did the movie adaptation. And if you've never seen the movie, oh man, <laughs> dude movie is so awesome it's the story of ash and how he just fights the army of evil and in this particular movie army of darkness which takes place after evil dead 2 he gets sent back in time i might even do it just just go watch it it's that good let's flip through here and get to the main story okay so now we have the story by the way the ending of the army of darkness movie adaptation is the alternate ending that i think it's the director's cut ending so it's not the ending that a lot of us have were used to that we saw it in the theater where well i can't even talk about it because it's, it'll spoil anything now most of the book in here most of the comics in here are written by andy hartnell and james kohorik however the main thing the main draw to this, this is so freaking wonderful is that there's artwork in here by Nick Bradshaw. And of course, Nick Bradshaw is the guy that went on to do Wolverine and the X-Men. Uh, he's done a few things for Marvel, but lately he's just been doing covers. But this is his first or earliest work. I don't remember. I remember my brother had a poster of Ash. And I'm not even going to lie. Dude, I, <laughs> I picked this book up because I was trying to get an idea of what the I had never read any of these comics. And I was trying to get an idea of what Dynamite was trying to do. And I ended up reading two-thirds of this book just because I love the artwork. I love that both of the writers have Ash's voice down. He is kind of a pompous asshole. And it works even in comic book format. The other artist you'll see in here is Sanford Green. And Sanford Green is now working on Bitter Root. There's a little... Actually, there's a few little short stories. Let's look back here. So there's a short story back here. This one's written by Robert Kirkman and is drawn by Ryan Otley. This is the same team that did Invincible. But it's interesting to see them work on this. Surprise, he didn't go with either one of his two zombie artists to do that little story. There's a little, other little short stories back here. So the first volume, and this is just the first volume, has over 400 pages of content. And it has the movie adaptation, the Ashes to Ashes miniseries, Shop Till You Drop Dead, Ash vs. the Reanimator, which is the old school movie, uh, Ash Old School, and then of course it has all the little tales of the Army of Darkness stories in the back. Just look at that early Nick Bradshaw artwork. So the guy that went on to do Wolverine and the X-Men had a very Arthur Adams style to his art when he was doing that, but it looks a lot different here. Let's move on to volume two. Now on the cover, we have Arthur Sudum, who is the artist on Marvel Zombies. And speaking of Marvel Zombies, I'll be talking a little bit about that. Here is the table of contents, Army of Darkness, Ash vs. Classic Monsters, the death of Ash, <laughs> um, from the ashes, Long Road Home, and Home Sweet Hell. 
So let's talk about it again. Most of this now is James Cahorid. Uh He is joined by Kevin Sharp as the artist now. And there's Dracula. So this is the one with the classic monsters. So Kevin Sharp, he's the guy that went on to draw Nova during the whole realm of the King's arc. So that's who that is. That's why his name is very familiar. And I was talking about Arthur Sudom a little bit ago. Um, he's the artist that went on to do Marvel Zombies. And it's pretty interesting because, trying not to spoil anything, but during the death of Ash, that's what ends up happening to him, is he gets transported into the Marvel Zombies universe. Not collected in this, as you probably saw, is Ash versus the Marvel Zombies. And for that matter, Ash versus Freddy, Ash versus Jason, Ash versus uh, Red Sonja, or any of the other copyrighted characters from movies. This particular volume has over 400 pages, and what I didn't show in the back is how they collect for volume one and two. They keep all the covers in the back. They're all little thumbnail pictures of the covers. They're not full size. Uh, there's familiar names back here. There's Kevin Sharp, uh, Stepan Sajic, I believe that's how you say the gentleman's name, Sean Phillips, Arthur Sudiam, like I was mentioning. Oh, I forgot about uh, Fabian F Na Neves, I believe is how you say his name. Fabiano Neves. I like his style. But this is how they keep the covers. This volume has 400 pages, like I mentioned. Also retails for $29.99. Let's move on to the last volume. So here's volume three, the final volume. And here's all the contents that are collected within the book. King for a Day, The Hillbillies and Deadnecks, Montezuma's Revenge, Water, Water Everywhere, League of Light Assemble. And this is pretty interesting because even though these are different story arcs that were collected in smaller trades, they're all pretty much the ongoing Army of Darkness uh, story or comics every month. And again, James Kahorik taking the lead on writing, and then he is joined by Michael Raked. Uh, most of the stuff is drawn by Scott Cohn, who is the artist of the cover here. Now, what's pretty interesting about Evil Dead and Army of Darkness is that this was the first, the very first issue was the first ever Dynamite comic book series. That's how they kicked off Dynamite, was with Army of Darkness. Uh, and then, it, you know, it kind of evolved their licensing deals for other characters later on, such as the case of Red Sonja. But I think it's really cool that they kicked it off with my boy, Ashley Williams. Dude, I quoted his character so often when I was in high school, college. I don't think, I think my wife probably still thinks I quote him way too much. So if you're familiar with the storyline, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but you can probably tell as I'm flipping through here. Ash, Ashley is just going around and just fighting demonites again. He's going around and just fighting the forces of darkness. Whether, you, I'm probably, I don't want, like I said, spoil it, but you probably saw here that he's traveling through time again. He's going to the past. He's in the present time. There are clones of him again, which one's Ash Prime. So all the goofiness of the original two movies and Army of Darkness is back in here. Of course, you can probably get away with a lot more in comic book format. One of the artists in here is also Mario Gully. And Mario Gully is the guy that did, uh, he created Ant. And Ant went over to Image, and I think it went on over to Big City Comics. It's done work for Marvel as well as Image Comics, but that's one of the big artists in this book. Let's look in the back here for some extras, which are the covers. So here's the cover gallery. Now you get full-blown pages, which is the way I think all covers should be, but I get it. Stepan Sajic, Fabiano Neves, both of them, again, supplying covers. And I'm sure you can tell, but the paper quality is this thick, glossy paper. Um, all of these are soft cover. I don't. I think they're the same built as the boys omnibus. Now this particular volume has 360 pages. You can probably tell when I was flipping through all of these that they do stay open when you get to about the middle. They tend to close a little bit when you get towards the front or the back. They all have glued binding. So, I mean there's no eye or anything. And when you have glued binding on a book like this and they get bigger and bigger, this is why I worry about compendiums, sometimes they tend to just not hold up as well. And of course, being a $29.99 book, you're not going to hold up as well as one of the $100 om hardcover Omnis. Uh, so what I worry about, though, with books like this that get big, 
It's the actual cracking of the glue. Sometimes over time, the glue just dries up and you might get page separation. I haven't ha seen it happen with these books, but I do have, I remember my original Street Fighter from Udon Studios did that. But if you're anything like me, be prepared, always be proactive and have some book binding glue handy. Now you can purchase these from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content and the page count of each of these Omnis. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, if you've read the comic book, if you've read that John Bolton, I, I didn't even know about the John Bolton uh, adaptation, that is freaking awesome. But if you've read it, let me know in the comments down below if you're keeping up with Ash um, or any of the Evil Dead characters in comic book format. And more importantly, what's your favorite Evil Dead movie? Right? Is it Army of Darkness? Is it Evil Dead 1 or 2? Or is it the remake? Or did you like Ash vs. the Evil Dead, the, the TV show? Love to know all those comments. Leave them down below. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. Speaking of live, I'll be doing a live episode tomorrow at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I always do every Saturday. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.